Hello crew, how are you today? I hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are watching in from. Let me know. Today we're going to have a conversation about a tip for you if you are keen to achieve more. Who would like to achieve more in life, in their business, even in health, in anything? Would you like to achieve more? Let me know. So today we're going to talk about that because a lot of people have goals that they share that they, yeah, I want this and I want that and I, I want this for my business. I want to generate more income. I might want to reach the rank, next rank in my business if you're in that kind of business model, you know, those kind of things. And you've got these goals, but you never quite get there or maybe your results aren't reflective of what you really want to achieve. Okay, this is a common thing. Um, so I want to share with you something today that is proven statistically to make a difference in you getting where you want to go. Okay, so we'll share that today. If we have not met before, my name is Helen Martin. I am your online crew captain and I am here to serve our amazing online crew community here. We've got home-based business owners, direct sellers. We've got those in network marketing, MLM, you know, anybody trying to build a home business and do it in the online world. So mainly what we talk about here is modern social media strategies to try to help you grow an audience, get more engagement, you know, get re better results in your business. But the very first video that I do every week is something to do with personal growth, personal development, something to help you be a better version of you because you do hear me say this all the time. It's not a funnel. It's not a Facebook ad. It's not an algorithm. It's not a Facebook hack or any kind of platform that's going to make you successful. It's you. It's what you do. It's what you say. It's what actions you take, all of those kind of things. So we need to be, we need you to be the best version of you so you can build the business that you love and deserve. Does that make sense? So how is everybody? Um, I do want to let you know the doors to the next free 14-day online crew video challenge are open, okay? So anybody that was waiting um, to join, you've all been approved. And so the rest of you can invite people into the group. I will share the group with you. You just need to request to join and answer the questions to get in. So it's just this link here. So it's uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash online crew video challenge. So if you would like to get better at live video, if you would like to hone in on your skills, um, I'll give you all the technical uh, guidance as well as the content for the 14 days. It's a no brainer. If you want to speed up your results on social media, then I would recommend that you take this video challenge. So just request to join the group and we will let you in. So let's just see who's here to say some quick hellos. We've got Christine. How are you? Good to see you on me, please. Janet wants the tip. Hello, Cheryl. How are you? Cheryl's one of our uh, life members and Janet's one of our VIPs. We've just got off like a two and a half hour call with the VIPs. They're the people that I work with um, for closely for um, a year. That program is about to open up again, but I only work with a very small amount of people. So stay tuned for those details. Hello, Ellie. How are you? Hello, Susan. Susan's one of our VIPs. So is Megan. Yes, ma'am. Cool. Hello, Yvette. How are you? We've got Lynn here today. Oops. We've got Jade here as well. Yvette 1A. What does 1A mean? Is that your code? that you forgot to press the emojis. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what it is. Hello, Facebook user. I'm not sure who that is. It means you're watching from one of my groups and you just need to click the StreamYard link at the bottom of the description for me to see who you are. We've got Monica here as well and Nikki. Great to see you. Hello, Lucy. Olive, back again on your life. Please welcome Olive back. Olive helps me with a lot of my admin um, work online and she's just had hip surgery. So she's slowly recovering. Great to see you back on live, Olive. I've missed you big time. Hello, Jennifer. Good to see you on. We've got Matthew here watching from Dublin. Should be sleeping. Well, it's lovely to have you with us here live, Matthew. We've got Linda. We've got Beth. Hello. We've got Anna as well. So I, I honestly, I could talk to you guys all day, but I should really get um, onto, the, onto the content. So 
Did you know that statistically there is something that you can do to help you get where you want to go? So let me ask you, you're here. This is your starting point. This is your goal. Okay, this is like, um, and this could be anything. So this is not only business, guys, this is life. This is like, I want to lose weight, so I'm here and I want to get here. I want to increase the income in my business. I want to increase the amount of customers, the clients, all that kind of stuff. So what is it that is important? You tell me, guys, what is it that really helps you get there? So this is you. Say this is. Let me just. Uh, I'll do a lose weight example, just because it's e easier to to sort of say. But let's say I'm here and I'm like, I want to lose uh, ten kilos. Not sure what that is in pounds, guys. We do kilos in Australia. <laughs> Who knows kilos to pounds? How many pounds is that? Um, I want to lose ten kilos, x amount of pounds within the next, you know, three months or something like this. Okay. So I'm saying that I want to achieve this, okay? What is the difference that really helps me get there? So I'm saying, I'm telling the world, I'm telling everybody that I want to, I want to achieve that. So what really at the end of the day helps me achieve that? So I've, I've said to myself, this is what I want to do, okay? Beth is saying I need a plan. Susan, goals with an action plan. So these are all important. What else you got, guys? Share with me your comments. So plan, goals with an action plan, planning it out. That's all really important. Uh, Terry's saying a plan as well. Um, so planning is a big part of it. <clears throat> but here's what really matters. I say to myself, I'm here. I want to get here within a certain time frame. What actually makes me get there is actually valuing myself enough to follow through with my word and that I'm worthy of achieving that. So what I'm sharing you, with you here, it's the value of your word in saying what you're going to, what you're actually going to follow through. However you do that with a plan, goals, action, you need all of that, yes. So everything that you're saying is true. But valuing myself enough to follow through with my word. Okay. So, next step. So, I say that I say I'm not going to eat anything naughty. I'm not going to eat any sugar. Um, I'm, I'm going to exercise every day. And I say that to myself. And so, next week, I'm going to exercise every day, seven days a week. And I'm not going to eat any sugar for the whole week. Okay. So, that's what I've said that I'm here, that's what I've said where I want to go. Now I need a plan and those kind of things, yes. But when I say it to myself, we're just talking about this on the, the VIP call as well, when I say that to myself and I don't do it, does it matter? Who have I let down? Have I let down my family? Have I let down my kids? Who have I let down? So to get there, I'll come back to that in a minute, to get there, I need to value myself enough to follow through with what I said I was going to do. How many of you have set a goal and you haven't achieved the goal and you've let yourself down? When you let yourself down, does it matter? Does that matter as, as much? So what I mean by that is when I just say to myself next week, I'm going to exercise seven days a week and I'm not going to eat any sugar and I don't tell anybody. I just say it to myself. And if I valued myself enough, if I valued my word enough, then you would like to think that I follow through with that, okay? But if I only say it to myself and I don't, does it really matter? Well, of course it matters in my head because then you beat yourself up because you didn't say what you, you didn't follow through with what you were what you're saying. So here's the catch with that. If I don't go and do that, I don't value my word enough. My word means nothing. Okay? 
but here's where we build on it. When I only say it to myself and I only let myself down, it doesn't really matter. How many of you how many of you don't tell people externally what you're going to do because of fear of failure that you won't do it? So there's different layers to this. The first layer is whatever you say you're going to do, have enough integrity and self-worth to actually value your word. When you say you are going to do something, you should do it. And when you truly value your word enough, you will go and do it. But if I only tell myself what it is that I was going to do and I only let myself down, then it doesn't really matter. Now, here's the stats that I want to share with you. You are 800%, apparently, statistically, you are 800% more likely to value your word and not let yourself down when you share what it is you are going to do or what your goal is with another person, okay? You know this to be true. This is what personal trainers are for. This is what mentors are for. This is what teammates are for. This is what business partners are for. But get this, it increases by 1,200% when you tell a group of people what you're going to do. And then we value our word even more because of what? Social pressure, integrity in front of other people, self-worth in front of other people. So here's my message with all of this. If I say I'm going to get pregnant, which I'm not, by the way, don't jump to any conclusions, been there, done that. But if I say I'm going to get pregnant, can I do that on my own? Can I be half pregnant? just because I want to be? Is that a thing? <laughs> Not likely. So if I want to get pregnant, I need another person in that equation to make that happen, correct? And we're going to make that happen together. We're accountable together. And then hopefully both parties take equal responsibility for that. And then you have this child and you look after it sort of together. Like it's a commitment you make together and, you know, hopefully all works out well. Not always the case. But it's not something you can do by yourself. You know what, guys? Neither should your goals. Neither should your dreams. Neither should be, you know, whatever it is that you want to achieve, whether it's a life goal, it's something you really want to go and do, whether it's losing weight, exercising, eating, business goal, rank advancing, more customers, more clients, whatever it is that you do in your business, you should never set those goals or only hold those goals to yourself. It's statistically proven that if you at least share it with one other person, because of your integrity and the social pressures and things like that, and I don't mean pressures in a bad way, that you're more likely to stand behind your word. Because I'll say it again, the only difference between you and getting where you want to go, if you only tell yourself, is you're not making yourself, you, do, you don't work, you, what's, what's the way I'm trying to put it? Basically, you're not seeing yourself as worthy enough to follow through with the goal. And yet when you share it with somebody else, there's a bit of integrity there, is there not? There's a bit of a driving force. There's also the accountability where somebody can actually hold you accountable and encourage you. When you do it with a group of people, I know you guys know this to be true, but I'm highlighting it to put on your radar is don't hide in a corner and set your goals and don't tell anybody about them. Because we can let ourselves down all the time, all the time. How many times do you say you're going to go and do something and you just don't do it? And it doesn't really matter. I'll start the diet on Monday. Monday rolls around. Oh, it doesn't matter. I've got a birthday party this week anyway. I'll start next Monday. How many times do you set a goal and you don't achieve it, but it doesn't really matter because it's only you? So if you really want to achieve more, then share what it is that you want to achieve with somebody else and, if possible, multiple people and ask to be held accountable and have people encourage you and mould you, you know, and, and give you guidance along the way and have enough integrity within yourself to be worthy of valuing your own word. Because you know what you're doing when you don't follow through with something that you say you're going to do? You're not valuing yourself at all. It just doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter if you let yourself down. It matters if you let other people down, but it doesn't matter so much when you let, you let yourself down, does it? We can let ourselves down all the time. I'm sure you do that quite often. You want to achieve something for yourself and you just don't do it. So openly tell people what it is that you're going to do and value your word enough to follow through with it and ask for the support of other people to help you get there. So provenly, uh, provenly, um, scientifically proven to make a massive difference in people's results in whatever it is that you want to achieve. So I ask you, what is it that you, you want to achieve? Write that down for starters. Then um, value your word enough and have enough integrity to actually follow through with the actions and the plan that you guys mentioned earlier to help you get there. But help let other people know what it is you're doing and ask them to support you. So if you're not getting anywhere, you're probably hiding. You're probably hiding behind your goals. You're probably hiding behind social media. Do you remember my video, my last video from last week about visibility? If you want to be more successful on social media, you need to be more visible on whatever platforms you want to play around with, but you need to show up more. You need to show your face more. You need to be in stories more. You create curiosity in stories. You need to be more visible. So you've got to follow these things through to have the visibility to get where you want to go if you want to be successful on social media. Okay, does this make sense to you guys? How many of you hide behind social media and you post something every now and again and you really want to be successful on social media you don't want to build your business you know with old school marketing ways you really want to leverage social media but you're hiding behind it you're not even doing live video you're not showing your face in stories you're not doing selfies and showing them you know on your personal profile or your business page or your group how many of you are honest enough to admit you're hiding a little bit behind social media and you're not being visible enough Therefore, if you're hiding within that way, you're probably hiding behind the goals. You might have your goals, but who have you told your goals and who have you said to keep me accountable to this? I really want to make a difference in this. I really want to get up at 7 a.m. in the morning. Like, call me. <laughs> that wasn't an invitation to call me at 7 o'clock in the morning, guys. I'm already up anyway. Okay, so um, what are you guys saying? Self-belief, yeah. And be you know, value your um, your word enough to actually follow through. Have some integrity, guys, and value yourself enough rather than allowing yourself to let yourself down. And other people can help you get there. Yes, Jennifer, follow through. Um, it's action to fail to plan, plan to fail. Exactly. You don't have a plan. You're headed for failure. Um you know, it's guaranteed. You saying it out loud. Yes. Hello, Avet. How are you? Tony, make it public. Yeah. One of the reasons that if you join us in the video challenge coming up, we start on the 1st of March, by the way, but get into the group if you want to join us. It's completely free. I guide you every step of the way. Um, one of the reasons that I ask people in the video challenge, and they get bonus points for this before we even start, I say to them, do an announcement that you're going to do the video challenge. Now put out on your personal profile or your business page, wherever you're going to be doing your live videos, and publicly announce that you're going to be doing the video challenge. What's the main reason do you think I get people to, to do that? It's accountability. When you say you're going to do something, you need to follow through publicly. One of the things I did when I started doing live videos five days a week here is I told you guys, said I'm up in my game. I'm doing free training. Am I mad? Free training five days a week here on my page and some of you may be watching from one of my groups. That's to keep me accountable. If I say I'm going to turn up five days a week at the same time, I'm damn well turning up five days a week because this is bigger than me. This is just not me. If I don't turn up at this time five days a week, some of you actually message me and going, you're going live today, Helen, what's wrong? <laughs> Like you've gotten to know that about me, but that helped me actually get into the habit of doing it by announcing something publicly. So yes, Tony, making it public. Um, yep, she's going to, we just talked about that, Judy and Bob, she's going to get that done um, today or tomorrow, I think it is. Committing, yes, yourself, yes, me, yes. 
Uh, raising the hand, Matthew. <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> um share it with judy and bob and they will hold you accountable exactly uh, there's some awesome members in this community that will help you keep you accountable if you want to be it matters because it makes me feel like crap and how yeah how does that make you feel when you constantly set goals and you don't achieve them it's not a very positive feeling isn't it so push yourself to tell somebody else and get out of your comfort zone and actually help you know say to somebody if you've got a mentor or you've got a friend or a group of people say, this is my next goal. I want you to help me be accountable to that. Um, you know, when I'm, um, you know, detoxing or something like that, you know, I'll say to Paul, right, for the next week, you've got to keep the chocolate away from me or the ice cream or things like that. This is, this is what I'm doing and you've got to help me through this. Like I ask for that support, otherwise I might cave. <laughs> you know what it's like, guys. Yes, I have. I get so disappointed in myself, more so if I um, say it out loud. And remember, the only reason that you're not getting from here to here is that you, you're not valuing your word enough. Because if you actually say, I'm here and I want to get here, that's your word. You're saying that's what you want to achieve. And if you don't do it and you don't do the actions and the plan that you want to do to get there, you're actually devaluing yourself. You're basically saying it doesn't matter. I've let myself down again. The little voice goes out of control and it's a really negative feeling, is it not? So let other people help you because we're often not capable of doing this and it's not all your fault either because I've shared with you guys here, if you've hung around me for any length of time, our brains are wired to keep us safe. So whatever is uncomfortable, that little voice in your head goes, it's okay. You don't need to go for the walk. You don't need to call that person or that prospect or do that uncomfortable thing, or share a presentation, or talk to somebody about your business, because it doesn't feel good, because it's uncomfortable. Your brain is naturally wired to keep you safe and comfortable. So it's much more safe and comfortable to sit on the couch with a blankie and watch TV than work your business. That's what our brain is designed to do. So you actually have to be driven yourself and share your goals and dreams and vision with other people to help them push you along the way and get you to get yourself out of your comfort zone so uh yep feel uh disappointed in yourself absolutely um hey sayini how are you i hope i pronounced that correctly say it out loud to public or to your team absolutely personal accountability and not only personal but with others as well yes it does matter i have an accountability partner and i know you guys have heard this you know those of you that are that are in this industry you've heard that over and over again but I just wanted to bring it, you know, raise your level of awareness around it because it's very easy to let yourself down and not say anything to anybody about what your next goal is or what you want to achieve and it really doesn't matter and you're just basically saying that you're not worthy because you didn't get there. So push yourself. Push yourself to tell someone else or a group of people and do it all the time, okay? It doesn't matter from the perspective that no one else knows um, but it just builds your negative self-talk. Now, and we don't we don't want to do that, do we? We don't want that negative self-talk. Hey, Gina, how are you? Well, what does that mean? Uh, it takes two to tangle. <laughs> it sure does. Uh, Megan, I have been um, hiding me through fear. It's time to step up and value myself. I love that. And that's truly, at the end of the day, what Megan just shared is what all of us need to do because I've already said this a couple of times already, the difference between here and here, where you want to go, is whether you value your word enough. So when you say, this is my next goal, that's your word. So either you value your word and you stick behind it, or you don't value your word and you just let yourself down again. Which, which one do you want to choose? So if you need help, um, you know, and you need people in your corner, then say it publicly, um, say it to a friend, say it to a group of people and help them, uh, let them help you get to where you want to go. Okay, so thanks for sharing that, Megan, because that's a valuable message to, to everyone. Hey, Grace, good to see you on. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, remember um, that you can't get pregnant by yourself. So, you know, just think of that in your goals and dreams. You need somebody else in your equation to be in your corner to help you get where you want to go, whether that's your partner, business partners, you know, whoever it is, help yourself get better results by having somebody else in your corner behind you. 
and making you know yourself more accountable to somebody other than yourself because we can let ourselves down all day long but it's very difficult to let somebody else down so thank you for uh, oh jade what have we got there a commitment okay i'm going to start and finish the next 14 day go live video challenge so you heard it here my friends jade is going to not only start but she's going to finish which is what I see a lot of people in the video challenge do. I see a lot of people start and not a lot of people finish. So if you're going to join us in the free video challenge, do what Jade just did and say it publicly that you're not only going to start, you're going to do every day and finish. It's only 14 days um, at the end of the day. And those of you that are sitting there going, oh, I don't know if I can do live video. You can. Everybody can. It's just your little voice keeping you safe because it's uncomfortable. You don't want to put yourself out there. You're worried what people think of you. What if I look like an idiot? I'm not successful enough. So who's going to listen to me? Blah, 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 blah. You can always share good value to somebody else. If you care, you've got a heart in there somewhere and you can give valuable information to other people and you can just share stuff, you can actually... Um, you know, hold up your phone, go to the live button and press the button. You might be going like this for a while <laughs> until you get used to it, but everybody starts somewhere. And I'll leave you with this thought regarding the video challenge. It always amazes me those who've got the biggest fear. Within about three days, people say, this is actually kind of fun. This is actually feeling a lot better. And then by the end of it, they're saying, I don't know what I was so concerned about. I love it. I've seen people go from absolutely what we call in this community shared skitless, work that one out, um, that's a video challenge term, shared skitless to loving live video and doing it all the time. The only difference is they actually 54321 did it anyway and got over their fear. So the things that you hold yourself back from are exactly what you need to go and do because that's the only way you eliminate fear is to go and do the thing that you are so scared of doing and proving to yourself it wasn't that bad. How many times have you done something and then at the end of it you go, I don't know why I stressed out so much about that because it really wasn't that bad? Probably all the time. That's just you letting your mind run away with this thing called fear and remember what fear is. Fear is imagined. Fear is something that hasn't even happened yet. Fear is something that you're stressing about that hasn't even happened yet. So just put that into perspective when you when the fear is coming in. What is it that you are worried about? And is it the fear of something happening in the future that hasn't even happened yet? Then what are you worried about? Got to get that stuff out of here. <laughs> You'll be much better off for it if you just go five, four, three, two, one. I'm doing it anyway. Mel Robbins, you know, the author of the book. Okay. Um, I would have probably never quit soda or smokes if I hadn't if I hadn't been so loud about it on social media. So I'm so proud of this woman in the last year, well, less than a year, probably six months, really. Laurie has given up. She had a huge addiction to Mountain Dew, for those of you that know what that is, like litres of the crap every day and smoking and she gave up smokes not long after that but she told us all she said what she was going to do and so she kind of had to <laughs> had to follow through with it so it just goes to prove that saying it out loud particularly on social media can help you actually get where you want to go uh christine yes that was me loved after day three and continue doing them now can't wait for the next challenge so christine's referring to the video challenge sophie that's awesome she's 100 percent committed to the live challenge it's out there it is now cheryl shared skitless yes that's our little uh video challenge term thank you no worries um absolutely um if i lost calories for how fast my mind runs away it would be uh, 50 pounds. I love that. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, it's awesome. So, yeah, Laurie is an inspiration to us all for the, the Mountain Dew and the smokes and it was because she was so vocal about it. So that just goes to that's a really good example of saying something out loud to help you get where you want to go. And that's really what this message is today. Um, don't sit in silence with your goals and just remember that you are worthy enough to get where you want to go you just have to believe it because it's only your word that you're letting yourself down with if you don't get to where you want to go you're just basically saying I'm not 
you're not worthy enough if you don't stick to your word. So stick to your word, but let other people know what that word is, um, you know, what your commitment is to help you actually get there. You know, progress is progress. Um, you may not achieve the ultimate end goal that you've got for yourself, but if you've improved, that's all that matters, guys. Don't be too hard on yourself with your goals when you don't achieve them. We all set goals that we don't achieve, but if you get closer to the goal and you've made progress, then you can pat yourself on the back, okay? So I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope that um, encourages some of you to um, sort of share your goals with other people. Either a person or multiple people will give you even a better result. Okay, so have a great day, awesome rest of the day. Don't forget the video challenge group is officially open. This is the group again. Um, so facebook.com forward slash groups, online crew video challenge, and just request to join the group and answer the questions and we will let you in and just follow the instructions from the welcome post. <clears throat> okay, so I'll see you guys same time tomorrow.